Salut tout le monde! Today we are learning French with the Lord of the Rings. Or I should say, Le Seigneur des Anneaux. If you want to improve your French comprehension, learn useful new vocabulary, and learn how to destroy the One Ring, watch on. First, here's the clip with subtitles. L'anneau doit être détruit. Qu'attendons-nous pour le faire? L'anneau ne peut être détruit, Gimli, fils de Gloïne, par aucun moyen en notre possession. L'anneau a été forgé dans les flammes de la montagne du destin. Il n'y a que là qu'il puisse être détruit. Il faut l'emporter dans les profondeurs du Mordor et le jeter dans l'abîme flamboyant d'où il est apparu autrefois. L'un de vous doit le faire. On n'entre pas si facilement en Mordor. Ces portes noires ne sont pas gardées que par des orques. En ces lieux, il y a un mal qui ne dort jamais. Et le grand œil est toujours attentif. C'est une terre dévastée et stérile, recouverte de braises, de cendres et de poussière. L'air que l'on y respire n'est que vapeur empoisonnée. Même dix mille hommes n'en viendraient pas à bout. C'est une folie. Now, let's break down the key words and expressions. L'anneau doit être détruit. You might be surprised to hear the ring referred to as l'anneau, or even that the series is called Le Seigneur des Anneaux, because the typical word for a, a ring that you wear on your finger is une bague. For example, an engagement ring is une bague de fiancée. However, an anneau is a more general term for a ring. It can be used to describe a piece of jewelry, but it can also be used to describe other ring-shaped objects, like the rings of Saturn or the Olympic rings. But ultimately, L'anneau just sounds much more magical and mysterious than la bague, which is too mundane of a word. The verb détruire means to destroy. For example, le dragon Smaug a détruit la ville. Smaug the dragon destroyed the town. So Elrond is saying that the ring must be destroyed. Qu'attendons-nous pour le faire? Qu'attendons-nous means what are we waiting for? In everyday conversation, you'd be more likely to say qu'est-ce qu'on attend? But because this is a formal setting and because it is Lord of the Rings after all, they're using more heightened dramatic language. L'anneau ne peut être détruit, Gimli, fils de Gloïne, par aucun moyen en notre possession. Ne peut être means cannot be. Normally, cannot be would be written as ne peut pas être. But in this case, we have aucun, none or not any, later in the sentence. So to avoid a double negative, the pas is removed from earlier in the sentence. Un moyen is a means or a way. For example, il faut trouver un autre moyen d'atteindre notre but. We have to find another way or another means to achieve our goal. So Elrond is saying, the ring cannot be destroyed by any means in our possession. L'anneau a été forgé dans les flammes de la montagne du destin. Il n'y a que là qu'il puisse être détruit. La montagne du destin is the French translation of Mount Doom. Literally, it means the mountain of destiny. So the sentence is, the ring was forged in the flames of the mountain of destiny. Il n'y a que là qu'il puisse être détruit means only there can it be destroyed. Puisse is the verb pouvoir, to be able to, conjugated in the subjonctif. The subjonctif can get a little confusing, but basically, it's used to talk about an uncertain action that has not yet been completed. So here, Elrond isn't saying that the ring can definitely be destroyed in Mount Doom. He's saying, only in Mount Doom is it possible to destroy the ring. The French subjunctive is tricky to master because very often it doesn't have an English equivalent. So the best way to get comfortable with it is to hear examples of how it's used in lots of different situations. And this is where Fluent U can be a really efficient language learning tool. When you watch videos with Fluent U, you can click on any word in the subtitles and then watch examples of how it's used from other videos. So if we click on puisse, 
we can quickly get a feel for how the subjunctive is used in all different contexts. Uh, insistez bien sur le fait qu'il puisse mélanger, c'est assez important. Tu es le meilleur ami qu'on puisse rêver d'avoir, en fait. Non. Pour que chacun puisse partager les informations sur la vie réelle de l'entreprise. And if a word like puisse is particularly tricky, you can add it to your flashcard deck to review later. You can also do all of this right from your phone by using the Fluent U app. So you can watch videos, learn vocabulary, and take quizzes from wherever you are. You can try Fluent U completely free for two weeks by using the link in the description below this video. Give it a shot and let me know what you think. Il faut l'emporter dans les profondeurs du Mordor et le... Emporter means to take or to carry something somewhere. For example, j'ai emporté tous mes livres quand on a déménagé. I took all my books when we moved. If you're ordering food in France, you might also hear the phrase à emporter, which means getting food to go or to take away. Les profondeurs means the depths. In this case, the depths of Mordor. It comes from the word profond, which means deep, as in... Ce lac est profond. This lake is deep. So Elrond is saying that the ring must be taken into the depths of Mordor. Or et le jeter dans l'abîme flamboyant d'où il est apparu autrefois. An abyss is a chasm or an abyss, a deep or even bottomless hole. And this particular chasm is flamboyant, which means flaming or fiery. Autrefois means once or long ago. For example, autrefois, il y avait un château ici. Long ago, there was a castle here. So altogether, Elrond is saying that the ring must be thrown into the flaming chasm from which it once appeared. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe to the Fluent You French channel so that you'll be the first to know when we release more videos. L'un de vous doit le faire. L'un de vous doit le faire means one of you must do it. Now, you might be wondering why he says l'un instead of just un. And to put it simply, it just sounds better. When it's used as a pronoun, un often gets an L apostrophe before it. And in certain phrases like l'un de vous, l'un d'entre eux, or l'un et l'autre, it's almost always used. Once you hear it enough, you'll develop a feel for when the L is typically added on. On n'entre pas si facilement en Mordor. On is often used to say we. For example, on est allé au marché. We went to the market. But in this case, it means one, or people in general. So Boromir is saying, one does not enter Mordor so easily. Ces portes noires ne sont pas gardées que par des orques. Gardé means to guard. For example, Le trésor est gardé par un dragon. The treasure is guarded by a dragon. In this case, Boromir is warning that the black gates of Mordor are not guarded only by orcs. You should also know that garder can also mean to keep. For example, j'ai gardé toutes ses lettres. I kept all her letters. En ces lieux, il y a un mal qui ne dort jamais. Un lieu means a place. For example, un lieu de rendez-vous would be a meeting place, and un lieu de naissance is a birthplace. In this case, it's the plural lieu, meaning places, which is spelled with an X, because why not? Gotta love French. In this context, le mal means evil. So for example, you can talk about le bien et le mal, good and evil. So the whole sentence is, in these places, there is an evil that never sleeps. Il grand oeil. Et toujours attentif. Attentif means watchful or attentive. For example, les élèves travaillent sous l'œil attentif de leur professeur. The students work under the watchful eye of their teacher. But in this case, watchful isn't such a positive thing. Boromir is saying that the great eye of Sauron is always watchful. C'est une terre dévastée et stérile, recouverte de braises, de cendres et de poussière. Stérile means sterile just like in English. In this case, however, because it's referring to land, terre, we might be more likely to say a barren land. In other words, a dry landscape with no plants or trees. Boromir also says that this landscape is covered with braise, embers, cendre, ashes, and poussière, dust. L'air que l'on y respire n'est que vapeur empoisonnée. 
Respirer means to breathe. For example, les poissons respirent sous l'eau. Fish breathe underwater. Vapeur means steam or vapor or fumes, etc. You'll often hear vapeur d'eau, which means water vapor or steam. In this case, I would translate vapeur empoisonnée as poisonous fumes. So the whole sentence is the air that one breathes there is nothing but poisonous fumes. Also notice the use of i in this sentence. I is a pronoun, so it's used to replace a noun in a sentence. Very often it's replacing a noun that refers to a place, in which case it's used just like there in English. For example, je suis allé à Paris. J'y suis allé. I went there. In our sentence, i is replacing in Mordor. L'air que l'on respire en Mordor becomes l'air que l'on n'y respire, the air that one breathes there. Même dix mille hommes n'en viendraient pas à bout. Venir à bout literally means to come to the end of, but what the expression actually means is to succeed or to overcome. For example, on peut venir à bout de cette crise. We can overcome this crisis. So Boromir is saying that even 10,000 men would not succeed or would not overcome this obstacle. C'est une folie. Folie is like the English word folly or madness. So c'est une folie means it's madness. Now it's time to watch the whole clip again without subtitles to test your knowledge. But before we continue, you should check out this PDF we made for you. It gives you a summary of everything in this video so you won't forget what you've learned. You can download it for free by clicking on the link in the description below. L'anneau doit être détruit. Qu'attendons-nous pour le faire L'anneau ne peut être détruit, Gimli, fils de Gloin, par aucun moyen en notre possession. L'anneau a été forgé dans les flammes de la montagne du destin. Il n'y a que là qu'il puisse être détruit. Il faut l'emporter dans les profondeurs du Mordor et le jeter dans l'abîme flamboyant d'où il est apparu autrefois. L'un de vous doit le faire. On n'entre pas si facilement en Mordor. Ces portes noires ne sont pas gardées que par des orques. En ces lieux, il y a un mal qui ne dort jamais. Et le grand œil est toujours attentif. C'est une terre dévastée et stérile, recouverte de braises, de cendres et de poussière. L'air que l'on y respire n'est que vapeur empoisonnée. Même dix mille hommes n'en viendraient pas à bout. C'est une folie. Wow. Lord of the Rings actually sounds pretty cool in French. Another fantasy series that's a lot of fun to watch in French is Harry Potter. So if you want to keep this French fantasy theme going, check out this video where I break down a classic scene from Harry Potter. I'll see you over there. A tout de suite.